Hello, and welcome back to my Q&A video series on the Pandas library in Python. And today, I'm actually only going to be answering questions from the YouTube comments. Okay, So we're going to start with a question from Eli. And uh, Eli asks, and we're going to start right here, what about reading from a CSV file only two columns and ignore the others? And second, what is the fastest method to read from a CSV file? Okay, so uh, let's pull up an example data set and answer those questions. So we'll import pandas as pd, okay? And then we're gonna pull in a data set of reported UFO sightings. So UFO equals pd.read CSV and uh, pass a bit.ly link of UFO reports. Okay, so if we look at the columns, we can see that there are five columns. And let's pretend we only want to keep two of them. All we actually have to do is to modify uh, the parameters of the read CSV function and just say use calls equals, and we can say city comma state, so we pass it a list. And then um, I'll just go ahead and put ufo.columns here. So when we read that in, now we're only reading in the city and state columns. You can also reference columns by position. So I could reference them as zero comma four. That would also work, okay? So that's how to read in only a selection of columns. Now, your second question about the fastest method to read from a CSV file. So I'm not sure exactly what you mean, but I want to show you at least one way to speed up the reading of a CSV file, um, which is, and again, I'm just going to copy this line. And, um, you know, it obviously won't work in many scenarios, but if you only need a certain section of rows, you could just say n rows equals three, and that will just read in the first three rows. Now, uh, this is probably mostly useful for, um, let's say you have a really big data set and you wanna take a look at it uh, before reading in the entire thing, you just pull in the, the first few rows and that'll take care of it, okay? So now my data set is literally just these three rows. Okay, uh, next question is from Elliot. And Elliot asks, how do data frames and series work with regard to selecting individual entries and iteration? Okay, so uh, we're gonna stick with the UFO data frame. And uh, turns out that pandas series are actually iterable just like, say, a Python list. So you could say for C in UFO.city, and just say print C, and you'll see that um, I'm just iterating through the city series, and I printed out these three series, okay? Now, for iterating through a data frame, uh, Pandas actually has specific methods that you're supposed to use, okay? So, um, and it's kind of like enumerate, and you'll see what I mean. Uh, so for index comma row, in ufo.iterrows, that's one of the methods, I'm gonna say print index comma row dot city row dot state, okay? And so you can see that when I iterate through the rows of a data frame with iterrows, I can grab the index, I can grab, uh, and I'm grabbing the row, and in fact, I'm just printing out two of the series from that row, okay? Uh, next question is from Pod Lisa, and they said, what's the best way to drop every non-numeric column from a data frame? Okay, so uh, I'm gonna pull up a different data set for this. We're gonna pull in a data set of um, alcohol consumption by country. So pd.read CSV and pass the URL bit.ly slash drinks by country, okay? 
And um, let's take a look at the D types. Okay. And uh, we see that we have four numeric columns and two non numeric columns, which are objects. Okay. So how do I only read in, uh, how do I only keep the four numeric columns? Uh, so it's kind of hard to remember, but here's the recommended way. So we're actually going to import NumPy as NP, and then we're going to use a data frame method called select D types. Okay, and then you say include equals, and in a list NP dot number. Okay, so if I do that and I check the D types you'll see that it only keeps the, um, uh, I've only selected the four numeric columns, okay? All right, finally, a question from Sergey. And um, my apologies, Sergey, if I'm getting your name wrong, I had to Google it to figure out the pronunciation and, and the internet told me I should say uh, Sergey. So um, my apologies if that's incorrect. But uh, his question was, um, for example, in this video, there is movie.describe include equals something. So where should we use brackets and where not? It is a bit confusing because why don't we use describe include equals something as a string instead of a list of a single string? Okay, great question. So um, let's take a look at the describe method for drinks in this case. So by default, describe uh, the describe method describes all of the numeric columns. Okay, so let's take a look at the help for this method. So we're going to hit Shift Tab one, two, three times, and then we'll scroll down here and we'll see that for the include parameter, it takes a list like all or none, which is the default. Okay, so. Uh, if you read through this, you'll see that when none is the parameter for include, it only shows numeric columns. But if you want to show all columns, you pass the string include equals all, just a string, and it includes all of the columns. Okay. But if you pass it a list of D types, so for example, object and then we'll say float 64, it will only include those types, all right? So the reason it wanted a list is because um, it wanted to give you the option of specifying multiple types. So uh, if you want to select just one type, you still have to use a list, and it'll just be a list of length one. Okay. Now, it can be tricky to figure out how to use pandas parameters correctly. Um, the documentation is a great source of figuring that out, but as well, searching online for good examples of usage is another way to figure out how to use pandas functions properly. Okay. So that's it for today. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. And as always, feel free to click subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And of course, please post a question in the comments and maybe I will make a video about your question next time. Okay, thanks again, and I hope to see you again soon.